Thank you so much for signing up at CPA Dreams Online Review School. So please, if you haven't done so, go to the link on this video and sign up. So you can watch the full version of the video lesson and you can also check the PDF summary and multiple choice questions so you can have a practice. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, I would like to continue with the taxation okay the general principles uh, this time i just want to share with you what are the limitations of the taxing power okay so there's limitations we have two which is inherent limitation and constitutional limitations under inherent limitations you have public purpose meaning uh, tax should be only used for public uh, purposes or public needs i already discussed that in previous video and then you have situs of taxation, so uh, the tax jurisdiction. And you have non-delegability of the taxing power and exemption of the government from the tax. Okay? And for your constitutional limitations, so you will see it on the summary notes. So few of them are uh, equal protection of law or the due process of law, non-impairment of the law and obligations and contracts, non imprisonment for non-payment of poll tax, free uh, worship clause, uh, exemption of uh, charities, donations, educational institutions. So the list you will found in the PDF summary. Okay, but I want to point out uh, two important uh, inherent limitations because these are always asked in the multiple choice questions in the CPL exam. Okay, the situs of taxation. When you say situs, this is place of taxation. So the tax jurisdiction that has the power to levy taxes upon the tax object. For example, uh, business tax. So businesses are subject to tax in the place where the business is conducted. Okay, income tax on service. So service fees are subject to tax where they are rendered. Property tax, the, the, the situs or the place of properties which is taxable in their location. Personal tax, meaning persons are taxable in their place of residence. Now, I would like to share with you as well uh, international committee or treaty because this is always us as well. Uh, a state cannot tax another state based on principle of sovereign equality uh, of another state, among states, the sovereign equality among states. So, meaning uh, this falls under the territorial jurisdiction. Okay? So, kung ikaw ay tinatak sa Philippines, uh, hindi ka itatak ng ibang bansa for a specific uh, tax. Okay? So, now, Let's move on to the principles of sound tax system. We have three. We call it FAT. F-A-T. Okay? <clears throat> First is fiscal adequacy. Second, administrative visibility. Third, you have theoretical justice. Okay? For fiscal adequacy, meaning the sources of government revenues must be sufficient. Uh, to, to meet the government needs, expenditures, and other public needs. Okay, so meaning they are charging really the tax uh, for the purposes that they need these funds to meet every uh, citizen's or resident's needs. For example, now, like the impact of COVID-19, uh, kailangan ng mas maraming pondo para sa healthcare para sa COVID testing. So, ang ating tax ay gagamitin para dito. And it will be more than enough. No? Second, administrative feasibility. Meaning, the tax laws must be convenient, just, effective administration, and free from confusion and uncertainty. So, meaning, actually, in this case, the collection and the payment of the tax will be easy for the taxpayers. It will not create any confusion. And also, in this case, the interpretation of any tax laws should be easily uh, understood by the taxpayer. Okay? Third, theoretical justice. See, 
uh, a good tax system must be based on the taxpayer's ability to pay. Okay? That's always like that. So, kaya nga pagka wala kang trabaho, you don't, you don't pay income tax. Okay? So, suggest that taxation must be progressive and conformably with the constitutional mandate that Congress shall evolve the tax system into a progressive system of taxation. So, kaya nagbabago-bago, di ba? So, from NIRC, ngayon meron ng train law as well, as amended. Okay? So, see you again on the next lesson. Thank you so much for watching and listening to this video lesson. If you haven't done so, please click the subscribe button.